Good morning, Weston Middle School, and happy Friday. Um, today's video is going to be a little sillier, uh, you know, once I finish this little part here. I, want, I wanted to take a minute to commend you, thank you, um, just recognize how hard you've been working on these important topics around race, um, around privilege, around equity, and I've, I've just been really impressed. Your teachers have been proud of you. I'm proud of your teachers for having these conversations. It's been great. Um, to hear that you guys are all willing to think and and reflect and and just move yourself forward uh, on these topics, um, I've been really proud of how the schools come together around that. Um, I also think it's important to do some self care, right? So I think that when you're having difficult conversations um, at a at a higher rate than you're used to, I think that it's important to take a break too, uh, and and to take care of yourself and make sure that you are in a good mental space. Uh, so today's video will be a little silly. Uh, but I, again, I wanted to thank you for that. I will be sending some resources um, over the summer uh, about anything that I find, you know, I think you guys might find helpful. I know myself, like, I'm not a big reader. Sorry, English teachers, not usually your big reader. But I'm going to be reading a lot this summer um, about race and, and different ways that we can move forward as a school. So if you have suggestions, please reach out. If you have a great article, send it over. A great video, send it over. And I'll share that with people over the summer. Um, you know, so I, I, again, I just want to thank you for all of your hard work and, and dedication to this. It's, it's been really nice to see, and I, I think we're a stronger school because of it. Um, I'm going to start things off by showing you Mr. McDade's new look. Uh, it's handsome, don't worry. And he did not, uh, we didn't do the survey because of that, but I will share the survey results with you, and then I have a very fun survey for the weekend. Hey, everybody. Okay, so remember, this is what Mr. McDade looked like when we started. Uh, I just thought this was really cool. I could not share it. Um, I wanted to share where he ended up. All right. We ended up with this beautiful face again. Missed your, missed your face, Mr. McDade, for sure. Uh, he didn't, you know, we didn't do the results, but he did do a little Don Quixote goatee. Uh, so I thought that was pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go share the results right now of the survey. Mr. McDade, uh, I'm hoping he's willing to maybe, you know, do whatever that is next time he grows an awesome beer. All right. So the big winner was the mutton chop. All right, and I thought that Wolverine uh, was the one that kind of reminded me of the mutton chop the most. Uh, handlebar mustache with a, a very close second place, um, and the Hulk Hogan. Uh, so just to see what those were. Well, they're not letting me do that. Anyway, so mutton chop, let's see. College Phil Oates, 10%, not bad. The Abe Lincoln, I thought that was going to get a little more love. And then the French goatee. He ended up kind of like a French goatee, I think, with the little like Don Quixote style. Anyway, Mr. McDade, thanks for taking part in that. Maybe you do the mutton chop next time. Just saying, that'd be pretty cool. Um, all right, so I'm going to share our next survey for the weekend. All right, so this big debate I know the whole school's been having is who would win in a race? Mr. Beverly, Mr. Porras, Mr. McHugh, or Mr. Kerwin? I'm thinking it's going to be something like this. I mean, uh, someone's going to be that Usain Bolt. All right. I'm curious what you guys think. I have my own thoughts on that. Um, the pictures that I put in the the, the quiz here uh, are a little small, so I want to make sure that we really get to see how great they are. Look at that handsome devil. Shirt's always tucked in, ready to go. All right. Uh, Mr. Beverly. And then, of course, the math man himself, Mr. Porus. Mr. McHugh, uh, as part of the outsiders. Not going not gonna to mess around with that guy. I'll tell you that, though. And Tori Dennis, I mean, I'm sorry, Mr. Kerwin, all right? So I want to know who you think would win a 100-meter dash, all right? And again, they will be very much like Usain Bolt, I'm sure. Let's get your votes in by Monday, and I'll share them then. All right, I want to finish up with a couple important announcements here. Uh, let me first say that today at 4 p.m., uh, our drama club will be doing 10 Ways to Survive Life in a Quarantine. Uh, the Zoom link is in my email. Please get on there and check it out. It's good to see people doing great stuff. Um, I will definitely be watching. Uh, can't wait to see it. Uh, and we're starring these lovely people right here. All right. Uh, thanks to these guys for taking all the time. Thanks to Miss Llewellyn to, you know, just being herself. She's awesome. Uh, taking the time to do this with everybody. I can't wait to see this in action. That's going to be awesome. Uh, I guarantee that. And I want to give everybody a little reminder. This is the uh, one of the memes that I put in for the email today. This is still a pandemic, okay? I know we've been focusing on other things, right? There's a lot going on in the world. Uh, please continue to be safe so that we can, you know, come back to school normally in September, right, or as normal as possible uh, because if we if we kind of let go of all the last two, three months of quarantine and we start acting like a fool and pretending like it never happened, 
we're just gonna we're gonna have to be quarantined again. So please keep taking it seriously, uh, you know, and it, and then hopefully over time it will it will just go away. Um, I, I again I want to thank you for all your hard work over the last couple of weeks. You've been amazing. Uh, we are very proud of you. Uh, enjoy your weekend. You deserve it. Okay, and I will see you tonight at the play.